first pick of the week. Watch this. I have to load it myself. So this is gonna be fun to watch. my way to Oklahoma and I, I need an oil change so I stopped off quick at home to knock that out hey hey get out of there who are you you can't be in there who is this chick What's up guys, finally time for an update. Uh, I've been in my head a couple days. Um, I guess Thanksgiving just threw me off. It kind of sucked because I was on a diet. Got one little sliver of pumpkin pie, but that's all good. So I just finally dropped off that excavator as you might have seen. Well, check, check out this time lapse. You'll see where I was going. And uh, that was uh, sketchy getting there. Even more sketchier turning around because my toolboxes are at the worst spot 
where my truck was on one side and the trailer's on the other side and toolboxes kept high center in so I had to do a 20 point turn until I finally got through that hill. Um, then after that now I'm on route to the next pickup but that load was overweight. Now my empty weight is under 20,000 pounds. It's 19 and change and I'm going to verify that here in a little while and get an empty scale but um, with as you can see right here with that load on I was weighing in over 40,000 pounds with the full tank of fuel thank God I was running during Thanksgiving weekend so there was uh, no there wasn't many people out I went over the scale in New Mexico um, and that was I went over the scale in Oregon they didn't stop me I went over the scale in New Mexico and they didn't stop me so I guess I, I didn't ring off any alarm bells but I was overweight my registered weight is 40,000 pounds um, but my going into school zone I guess I don't is that a school or a barn I'm out in the middle of nowhere man um, anyways my registered weights 40,000 pounds but the combined vehicle weight rating of the truck and the trailer is 39,000 so I was right on the borderline, but being that the broker said it was only 18,000 pounds, I should have been at about 38,000. Um, but I was at 40,000, so that means the broker lied and that thing weighed at least 20,000 pounds, if not more. Um, that being said, I got it there, I, dro I dropped it off, and unfortunately it was during the weekend, and I'm on a time crunch like always, so I, I couldn't take any time to try to weasel more out of the broker. We sent him an email, and he's like, okay. So uh, I guess we're taking what we're taking. We probably took a hit on that trip because I got horrible gas mileage carrying that heavy load. I averaged 7.8 miles per gallon for 2,000 miles, and we got paid like 3,300 bucks, I think. So, yeah, like, a dollar sixty a mile probably absolutely horrible but now i'm going to pick up in oklahoma city which is about as the crow flies 50 miles away but it's it's about 90 miles for me to get there um and then i'm taking that load which is super light it's gonna be a nice change going to riverside california and i'm hoping to get that done in two days today is monday i'm hoping to drop that off on thursday because i no, I'm hoping to drop that off on Wednesday because on on I need to be home um, Thursday night, uh, and it's about a day from Riverside to my house, and we're that's you know without a load. So definitely coming in on the time crunch, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll we'll talk about what happens after that. Anyways, so I'll get some more content for you guys on on this uh, trip back west and we'll see you in California. Here we are. Next pickup is called Hubble. I'm guessing I'm carrying those. 6,800 pounds going from Oklahoma City to, probably hard to hear me, it's going from Oklahoma City to Riverside, California.
right, so that delivery is done and Riverside of those polymer concrete boxes that you use for the ethernet cable. Now, uh, 40 miles away, almost there, picking up two 20 foot shipping containers that are he headed from LA area to um, Salt Lake City for a shitty rate. It's like 1300, but the reason I'm taking it is because I gotta be home tomorrow and I won't be finishing the delivery, but it will be going through Reno. Uh, so basically, we hired a new driver, um, good friend, known him for a while, and uh, he's going to be taking on. Um, he's going to be basically switching out with me in Reno and hightailing it to Salt Lake to drop off on Friday and pick up another load. So it's exciting. And then from there, I'm going to go into our other truck. Wait, we have another truck? Not the white truck. The other truck. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so this pickup. Kong Global Industries, Alameda Avenue, Wilmington, California. It's the stupidest, most retarded fucking pickup ever. The sh the, the sh you'll, you'll see on the way out of here, the streets are full of trash. The road that I went down to get in here was an alley two-way traffic um, and then you have to drive down and around do a zero point u-turn um, in order to come and get in line and then you got trains that you're waiting for god stupid
finally loaded after like five hours and uh, on route back home. So I got two more hours of driving to get done today. That'll put me at four. Um, then I can start again at 2 a.m. and hopefully make it home by like 10 to noon in the morning, probably around noon. Get some lunch with my our new driver, put him in the truck, send him down the road, and I'm home. Not for anything good. Yay! I've been spoiled by being in the south um, and now winter is coming back with the vengeance going back north. They're enjoying that fair California weather. It's still warm, but it won't last. Big ass storm. Drive safe, guys. Working great so far. Slow going, but I feel pretty sturdy. No slipping or sliding. Four wheel drive, auto socks, chains required. <laughs>